All right, the White House is still dealing with the aftermath president uh, meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Susan McGinnis has the latest on new comments from the president today and more clarification from the White House. President Trump today again broke with U.S. intelligence agencies, indicating he does not believe Russia is trying to attack America's democracy. Is Russia still targeting the U.S. Thank Press, you let's much, go. Sir. Hours later, the White House says he was misunderstood. And the president was said thank you very much and was saying no to answering questions. We believe that the threat still exists, which is why we are taking steps to prevent it. A day after he was forced to clarify whether he believes Russia interfered with the 2016 election, the president insisted he is standing up to Russia. There's never been a president as tough on Russia as I have been. That claim falling flat with this former ambassador to Russia. This is becoming a joke. It is becoming uh, absurd. It makes our president look weak. It makes our country look weak. Meanwhile, lawmakers are demanding to know what Trump and Putin said behind closed doors in Helsinki with only their interpreters present. We want the interpreter to come uh, before the committee. We want to see uh, the notes. None of us have any idea what occurred. Was it just a press conference? Was there anything substantive that uh, came out of it? Russia seems to know, announcing it's ready to move on agreements the leaders reached. Still no details from the White House or the Pentagon on that meeting.